Hello. Welcome to the airport cafe. My name is Michael, and I will be your waiter today. Michael, I would like to tell you ahead of time that I will be in a hurry today because I have a flight to catch. Oh, you have a flight to catch. I would never have guessed that you have a flight to catch. With your three bags of luggage, your airline ticket on the table, and the fact that you are past the security checkpoints in the fucking airport would never have tipped me off that you have a flight to catch. I'm glad that you, and each one of my 300 other customers, has warned me ahead of time that they have flights to catch today. Even though I work in an airport restaurant, and I have to pass through 30 minutes of airport security, I always forget why people are here in the airport. Oh, that's right, they are here to get on a fucking plane at a specific time. Thank you for reminding me. I would be lost without you. You are welcome, Michael. What can I get for you today? I am not sure yet what I would like today. I will need to browse the menu for a moment. Okay. I am happy to give you a moment to look at the menu while I check with the other guests in my section. Actually, since I am in a hurry, I will decide quickly so that you don't have to leave my table and come back. Okay. I will wait right here while you decide. It appears that you still need some time to decide. Allow me to step away from your table for just a moment to refill the drinks at the other tables in my section, and I will be back to you promptly. Just a moment. I think I am getting closer to deciding. My intention today is to eat a light meal while drinking an irresponsible amount of hard liquor. And by irresponsible, I mean Surgeon General's warning irresponsible. It's the only way to fly. I would prefer that you wait here while I continue to review the menu, since I am in a hurry and it will only take me a moment to decide. I see. I will remain here at your table. I see that you still have not come to a decision. May I offer a suggestion? Since you are in a hurry, and one of your goals today is to consume a massive amount of alcohol. Perhaps I can give you a head start by getting you a drink, or in your case, several drinks, while you decide on your meal. What would you like to drink today? I will start with a quadruple shot of gold schlager. I am going to assume that is how you brush your teeth each morning. Though I am anxious to begin my plunge into a drunken oblivion with the quadruple shot of gold schlager. I would rather you wait here while I decide on my meal before you get my drink, since I am in a hurry and it will only take me a moment to decide. Okay, I will wait right here. I see that you have still not decided on your meal after what seems to be an eternity at this point. I am going to conclude that you are unable to read the menu because you are blind. May I get you a braille menu? Or perhaps English is your second language in which case I suggest that you focus on the pictures rather than the words. Or maybe you are just a fucking retard. I am not retarded or blind, but I do appreciate your thoughtfulness in offering me a braille menu. I am able to read the menu perfectly, and it will only take me a moment to decide. While you take that moment to decide, I would like to attend to the 14 other tables in my section, all of whose drinks are now empty and whose food is burning to a charred crisp in the kitchen as I have been unable to leave your table for an eternity. Since I am in a hurry, I think it would be best if you wait here while I decide. My objective is to be blackout shit-faced by the time I board my plane, and I only have a short period of time to complete this task. It's the only way to fly. I see. I will wait right here. Well it appears that you still have not decided. I find it astonishing that the simple half page menu in front of you, with only 8 items on it, has overwhelmed the capacity of your brain. To help you avoid a stroke, Allow me to give your brain what is likely a much needed rest, 
while I make a few recommendations to speed up this tortuous process. I am inclined to believe that you would enjoy being rolled aboard the plane by wheelchair, incapacitated as a result of your gratuitous consumption of hard liquor, in a race to achieve a blood alcohol level that borders on death. Is that correct? That is correct. And you would like to accompany your gluttonous alcohol consumption with something light to eat. Light because you are raging unadulterated alcoholic, and you detest the idea that whatever small amount of food is in your stomach might counteract the speed at which alcohol is absorbed into your bloodstream. Is that correct? That is correct. Allow me to recommend a small chicken salad with your alcohol binge today. I appreciate your recommendation, but I would prefer to explore the menu further before settling. Of course you would. While you continue to explore the menu, may I assist the angry man in my section who is currently waving his fist at me and shouting, Sir, sir, sir. It appears that he would like his bill. I would prefer that you wait here another moment while I decide. I am now realizing, albeit far too late at this point, that my decision to take one more customer before the end of my shift is the worst decision I have ever made, ever. The angry man in my section now appears to be making stabbing motions at me with his butter knife. I do have his bill right here in my hand. Perhaps you won't mind that I step away from your table for five seconds to hand the man his bill, and then come right back to get your order. I think it would be more efficient for you to wait here while I decide rather than walk away from my table and come back later. I only have a short period of time to decide on my meal and consume an amount of alcohol that will allow me to pass out into a near-death coma on the plane. It's the only way to fly. Listen, miss. It has become evident to me that dining out is a foreign concept to you. I gather that you are much more accustomed to ordering from the outside of a drive through window than from a restaurant waiter. I can no longer take your monopolization of my time and your disregard for the rest of my guests as you appear to believe that you are the only person in the universe. Additionally, and perhaps more importantly, I can no longer bear the stench of what I have finally determined after ten minutes of standing here to be your dirty cunt. It emanates an odor that resembles our fish special, uncooked, and left out to spoil in the heat window for about a week and a half. With my nausea approaching a level beyond which I can control, I must leave your table immediately. I will order you a small chicken salad and a bottle of gold schlager. Allow me to suggest that you apply some of the alcohol directly to your dirty snatch as soon as possible to temper that rank smell. Have some mercy on the rest of the passengers on your plane for God's sake. I appreciate you taking the initiative to place my order immediately, Michael, however, I am concerned that a small chicken salad will be too substantial, and will curtail my goal of boundless intoxication. Did you hear anything I just said about your putrid decaying vagina? I would greatly appreciate if you would leave the chicken off the salad so that I may get hella fucked up. Done. I will also find you a new waiter. Perhaps a waiter who has had the majority of his nose and face blown off in a horrible accident, losing his sense of smell and being gifted with the special ability not to detect your vagina's foul stench. Good luck getting on the plane with that biohazard of a rancid meat taco between your legs, and good day to you. Thank you, Michael. And good day to you.